Threaded inserts for plastics, four processing ways, and selection tips. Plastic products are everywhere in our lives, from phone cases to car interiors. But how do you make sure that these parts can connect securely with other components? That's where threaded inserts come in. So what are threaded inserts? They are small metal parts designed to be installed into plastic. These metal inserts feature more durable threads that can endure repeated assembly and disassembly. In plastic applications, they're essential for creating stronger, long-lasting connections. These inserts are commonly used in electronics, automotive parts, and even 3D printed pieces. Anywhere a strong, reliable screw connection is needed. There are a few main types of threaded inserts designed for plastic. Each type has its unique installation process, advantages, and drawbacks. Let's go over each one. First, we have heat set threaded inserts. They're heated and pressed into plastic, melting the surrounding material slightly to create a tight bond as the plastic cools. Heat set inserts are popular for 3D printed parts because they create a solid, reliable connection without cracking or stressing the plastic. However, they do require a heating tool, like a soldering iron, and this method can take time if you're working with multiple inserts. Next up, cold pressed in threaded inserts. This type is mechanically pressed into the plastic without any heat, which makes installation quick and easy. Cold pressed inserts are fast, but they rely on the strength of the plastic itself, so they may not be as secure as heat set inserts in softer plastics. The third type are the molded in threaded inserts. They are integrated during the initial molding process. This creates a seamless bond as the plastic forms around the insert. These inserts offer incredible durability and are ideal for high stress applications. But on the downside, they're only viable if you're molding the plastic part from scratch, which can limit their use in some cases. Finally, ultrasonic threaded inserts. They use vibrations to generate heat, melting the plastic around the insert without additional heating tools. This method is popular for its speed and precision. The downside? Ultrasonic equipment can be costly, which may be a barrier if you're working on a budget. So, how do you choose the right threaded insert for your plastic project? First, consider the strength requirements. Threaded inserts need to handle two types of forces. One is pull-out resistance, or how well the insert stays anchored in the plastic without being pulled out. The other is torque-out resistance, meaning how well it holds up to twisting from the screw. To handle heavier loads, you might choose longer inserts for stronger pull-out resistance or larger diameter inserts to increase torque strength. Since calculating these forces can be complex, some companies use physical testing to make sure the insert can handle the intended application. Next, let's talk about materials. The type of plastic and the insert material both play a big role in performance. For example, thermoplastics are compatible with heat staking and ultrasonic inserts because they can be softened for a tight fit. For tougher thermoset plastics, Molded in or cold pressed inserts are better suited since these plastics aren't as heat sensitive. Common materials for metal inserts include brass, stainless steel, and aluminum. Brass is a popular choice due to its cost effectiveness, while stainless steel is favored for its added strength and corrosion resistance. Aluminum provides a lighter weight option. Cost is another consideration. Threaded inserts can either be molded into a part from the start or added after molding. Molded-in inserts are ideal for larger production runs, where upfront costs are balanced by the benefits of bulk manufacturing. On the other hand, if you're working on a smaller run or a prototype, adding inserts afterward, like press fit or heat set, might be more practical and cost effective. Finally, consider the manufacturing process. Injection molding is often used with molded-in inserts placed before the plastic injection for a strong, reliable bond. For CNC machined parts, inserts can be added after molding using techniques like press fitting or heat setting, which is great for achieving tight tolerances. And if you're working with 3D printed parts, heat set threaded inserts can be placed after printing. Just make sure to have a solid area around the insert for better support and durability. Threaded inserts may be small, but they play a huge role in enhancing the strength and versatility of plastic products. As a manufacturer or a DIY enthusiast, this video is the first step to help you understand your options and choose the right insert for your project. Thanks for watching. If you found this guide helpful, subscribe for more tips on advanced plastic manufacturing techniques. See you in the next video.